Top story today. A local school has been denied their freedom of expression. Their unfathomable high school spirits have climbed so dangerously high only to be toppled over. The illusion that freedom of expression brings was seen through and was utterly deprived of when freedom of expression turned to chaos. Numerous bystanders were victimized by what started as an expression of high school spirit but turned to pandemonium. And here's some footage of the graphic incident. First we have this Irish immigrant who has recently moved into a small town. He's a foreign exchange student and got his first taste of America. Tragic. This man who has served 25 years of prison for going overboard with freedom of expression as old school has suffered deja vu when he was finally released, only to fall into the clutches of this high school spirit outbreak. Let's take a look. This man must be heartbroken. Assaulted beneath the long lived school spirit. It's just shocking and shocking footage. Oh my god! They're everywhere! God! <laughs> Let's go to Paige Turner, who interviewed the four victims who were assaulted by this outbreak of free expression. Thanks, Randy. And I'm here on location with Al K. Hall. Now, Al, tell me how you felt when the attacks were happening. Simply put, I felt angry. And how do you feel now looking back on the incident? Um, I'm just traumatized of the incident. Traumatized! Do you think you're ever going to be okay again? No! Now, are you seeking any professional help for this problem? No, I just cry myself to sleep over the incident. All right. Thank you, Al. I'm so sorry for your, your pain and your suffering. Oh, you don't really care. All you're in for is the money. The next guest on location is Phil A. Pino. Phil, how did this, how did this incident af affect your life? <laughs> Phil, are, are you okay? Phil, what are you looking at? Are you, are you in professional treatment for for anything currently? I don't think Phil's okay. <laughs> and now we have our guest, Tommy Gunn. Now, Tommy, tell me, how do you feel? God, it was horrible. <laughs> so many balloons and strippers. Tommy, Tommy, are you in professional treatment? <laughs> so many pills. <laughs> So much. Tommy, can you tell me what psychological order you've been diagnosed with as a result of this? <laughs> Post-traumatic stress disorder. Post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, for our viewers, that is an anxiety disorder, which is characterized by flashbacks and an inability to function in normal society. Tommy, so how many is this, balloons. Tommy, how is this affecting your life? I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> There you have it. Tommy doesn't know what to do anymore. Okay. Now back to you, Randolph Stifler. I'm receiving a message from the studio. This just in. The school spirit outbreak has broken out of the school and putting innocent lives of this town in danger. Now we go to the outskirts of the quarantine site where the military is trying to contain the situation. Here we go with the News 20 camera crew giving us this exclusive footage. Red ammo! What up, you? And are you seeking any professional help for this problem? None whatsoever. I just can't even fall asleep, but I cry myself to sleep. You killed my father! <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I think I missed some of that. Do it again. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. No, you're not! <laughs> <laughs>